North Korea is making advances in hypersonics as well. But the question remains, how? How does one of the world's poorest nations develop the technology to make hypersonic missiles? How does it keep getting material for missiles despite international sanctions? North Korea is likely getting its technical know-how through Iran. The West's other great adversary has been helping out its fellow pariah state. Iran has a history of cooperation with North Korea. Last November, Iran unveiled its Fatah 2 hypersonic missile. And now North Korea is showing off its own. It could be a coincidence, but the timing is definitely suspicious. North Korea also shares land borders with China and Russia. Pyongyang has its people in both countries, and they help it get both technology and supplies, including contraband. Now, of course, Beijing and Moscow both deny flouting international sanctions, but new reports of their complicity keep surfacing every so often. So how does North Korea pay for all this? After all, even staunch allies won't give Kim Jong-un unlimited resources for free. Part of the answer...